Is that India's powerful nukes are just a big joke? Let me tell you, it's not. In fact, India's development of long-range and intercontinental ballistic missiles has been a major strategic achievement. Despite facing technology sanctions and embargoes from Western countries like the United States, India was able to build up an advanced missile program capable of delivering nuclear weapons across Asia and beyond. In this video, we'll look at the background of India's missile development, the major missile systems it has produced, and the strategic impact these weapons have. So without further ado, let's get into it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to stay updated whenever I post new videos on topics like this. Now let's begin. India's Nuclear and Missile Programs India conducted its first nuclear weapon test in 1974, becoming the world's sixth nuclear power. However, lacking missile technology at the time, India could not effectively deliver these weapons. India's missile development began in the 1980s under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. This aimed to produce a range of missiles using indigenously developed technologies, free from foreign assistance. India faced a major obstacle in the form of technology sanctions and export controls led by the United States. The U.S. wanted to restrict missile proliferation in South Asia following India's emergence as a nuclear power. However, India continued its missile program as an act of scientific and strategic autonomy. Agni Series Missiles the mainstay of India's missile arsenal is the Agni series, named after the Hindi word for fire. The Agni missiles are medium to intercontinental range ballistic missiles, IRBMs and ICBMs, designed to provide a credible strategic nuclear deterrent against regional adversaries. Agni-1, the first missile in the series, Agni-1 is a short-range ballistic missile developed in the late 1980s, early 1990s. It has an estimated range of 700 to 1,200 kilometers and can deliver a 1,000 kilograms payload. Agni-1 entered service in 2004. Agni-2, this medium-range ballistic missile, MRBM, was first tested in 1999 and inducted in 2010. It has an estimated range of 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers and can carry a 1,000 kilograms warhead. Agni-3, an intermediate-range missile with a range of 3,500 to 5,000 kilometers, the Agni-3 provides strategic reach across all of Asia. It was inducted in 2011 and can deliver a 1.5-ton nuclear or conventional payload. Agni-4, with an estimated 4,000 kilometers range, this marks India's first ICBM. Agni-5 entered service in 2014 and brings all major Chinese cities within striking range. Agni-5, considered India's first true intercontinental ballistic missile, the Agni-5 was first tested in 2012 and inducted in 2018. It has a range of over 5,000 kilometers, making it capable of reaching any target in Asia as well as parts of Africa and Europe. It can deliver a 1.5-ton nuclear warhead. Agni-6, currently under development, the Agni-6 would extend India's reach to intercontinental ranges of 10,000 kilometers. This would bring North America also within striking range, providing India with true global reach. Other Missile Systems In addition to the Agni missiles, India has developed other missile systems for enhancing its nuclear deterrence capabilities. Prithvi short-range surface-to-surface ballistic missiles inducted in 1994. Version have ranges from 150 to 350 kilometers. Dhanush, a naval surface-to-surface -surface missile with 350 kilometers range, deployed on ships since 2000. Also, Prithvi and Dhanush are developed to intercept ballistic missiles outside atmosphere. BrahMos, a supersonic cruise missile developed jointly with Russia in service since 2007, has a range of 290 kilometers. Nearby, a long-range subsonic cruise missile with an estimated 1,000 kilometers range. Still in development, 
Shorya, a hypersonic surface-to-surface -surface missile capable of conventional or nuclear payloads, has a range of 700 to 1,900 kilometers. Overall, India's missiles provide it with defensive deterrence capabilities as well as conventional precision strike options across South Asia and beyond. The development of longer-range Agni missiles expands India's strategic reach and allows it to credibly hold distant targets at risk. Strategic Impact India's advanced missile capabilities have significantly enhanced its defensive deterrence posture, neutralizing the missile advantages of rivals like China and Pakistan. They represent an important strategic counterweight vis-a-vis -vis these nuclear-armed adversaries. The missiles provide escalation control and strengthen the credibility of India's second strike nuclear capability. This has created greater strategic stability and reduced the chances of nuclear conflict despite recurring crises between India and Pakistan. The Agni missiles have broken the confines of regional deterrence and extended India's strategic capabilities across continental scales. Only the permanent UN Security Council members have similar long-range missile capabilities. These capabilities were developed in the face of technology denial regimes imposed by the U.S. and other Western suppliers. The missiles thus represent India's indigenous scientific achievements in critical defense technologies. At the same time, India's focus has remained defensive with its nuclear doctrine based on credible minimum deterrence. India also maintains a policy of no first use of nuclear weapons. The development of advanced missile systems has also benefited India's space program and satellite launch capabilities. The same solid fuel and cryogenic engine technologies are used in space launch vehicles. The Agni program spearheaded mastering complex propulsion technologies and manufacturing techniques involving advanced materials like maraging steel, carbon-carbon composites, etc. India is now self-reliant across the entire missile value chain, from propellants and propulsion systems to navigation and guidance technologies. Highly accurate inertial navigation systems guided by modern avionics provide precision strike capabilities. State-of-the-art optical, infrared, and radar seekers allow terminal homing onto targets. Networked command and control systems ensure robust command, control, and intelligence acquisition for optimum utilization of missile forces. These capabilities will only grow further as India pursues next-generation technologies like multiple independent re-entry vehicle MIRV, warheads, maneuverable re-entry vehicles MARV, and missile defenses. India's missiles and supporting technologies are a testament to its indigenous scientific and engineering capabilities. It has steadfastly refused to compromise on its strategic autonomy and developed formidable missile forces despite technology denial regimes imposed by certain countries. This emphasizes India's arrival as an advanced missile power that will continue shaping the strategic balance in Asia and beyond. India's missile development represented its quest for autonomous strategic capabilities despite technology control regimes. From short-range Prithi missiles to long-range Agni ICBMs, India persevered with its missile programs for enhancing defensive deterrence. These efforts have paid off, giving India credible missile capabilities to hold adversaries at risk across transcontinental distances if the need arises. However, India remains committed to restraint and responsibility in building its nuclear forces. If you enjoyed this video on India's missile programs, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I regularly publish new videos analyzing important defense and strategic developments in India and around the world.